Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, ResetCharters.com, or Facebook. <laughs> um, so yesterday I posted uh, in all of the personal watercraft and or jet ski groups that I'm in on Facebook, I posted the basically some pictures and some links to the, this uh, equipment that I have. So this is just a dual Continental trailer, and that's a single caravan trailer. Um, I just got this, I basically rebuilt the trailer uh, and I put my 08 RXPX on this trailer with this Harbor Freight engine hoist. And uh, I'm going to use that and this sling here to take this ski back off here because now I need the dual trailer for a tour tomorrow that I got to do. We're taking uh, six skis plus uh, the ski that uh, myself and the girlfriend will be on. So seven skis and uh, this is one of the trailers I got to take. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything drug out of the shop and uh, I'm going to videotape how I hoist it all up and get it done. All right, so I have everything set up. Um, that ski is going to be lifted off of that uh, trailer and I'm gonna put it right back where I got it from, right next to my 06 RXT. Um, so I've got this engine hoist. I, or I'm sorry, not engine hoist, but the, the, the engine hoist is here. Some call it a cherry picker. There you go, Harbor Freight, two ton. Uh, I have it set just like you see. Uh, that's the two ton hole, one and a half ton. I have it set on one ton. This ski might weigh, I think, around seven, 750. Um, this sling is a one ton sling, nothing fancy. And so basically, you see how I've got the wheel straddled with the engine hoist. Um, that wheel over there has a wheel chock in front of it. Um, I have another one here. However, uh, I, I can't get the deal here centered with that wheel chock in the way, just not enough clearance. So here we go. So basically I position what I need to, uh, to do as, so as far as uh, the posi positioning here is for this ski to be removed from the single trailer. So I have the engine hoist there and I centered it there pretty much. I'm gonna push it in just slightly. So you wanna get it centered right over the ski. And if you know anything about skis, you know that most of the weight is back in this area where the engine is. So um, you're gonna find that the best bet is to position right around here. But you gotta do your own testing at home. Uh, just make sure that you've got it balanced up there on that hoist or it's gonna fall and you're gonna be having a very bad day. So, Here's where we're at. Centered, this is centered here with the seat. I'm gonna start jacking it up. Always make sure that your, uh, your deal here is very tight so that uh, there won't, you won't get any slippage. So I'll, I'll jack it up until it just catches. All right, so I'm going to jack it up until I've got enough pull on both sides. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that we're basically symmetrical on both sides. So from this body edge here, I've got about two and a half inches. So just, yeah, so about two and a half inches there too. Just make sure it's even and then I jack it until it's snug. You know, the key here is check, check, recheck, check again, check again, check again, check again, to make sure that your, you know, multi-thousand dollar piece of equipment doesn't fall off the engine hoist. So, looks like I've got it nice and hooked in there. Looks good on that side. Looks good on that side. Looks nice and even. And I, I did this uh, a couple days ago, so I know that right where I put it is pretty much um, where it's going to need to be. Undo your... 
rope here or strap. Take that out and get it out of the way. Now, there's nothing tying it down. I removed my rear straps. So now, jack it like you would a normal car jack. May have a little issue with this. Pop that, oh, nope, good to go. All right, just make sure I didn't move anything. Looks good. All right, I'm gonna give the girlfriend the camera. This sound stuff is up there, so just stay away from that. All right, so very carefully, while I watch everything, make sure the wheel chalk is holding everything. Now, he's swinging. I can't stress enough to make sure you check, check, and recheck everything before you move the trailer from underneath this thing. Get it a few inches up, check your sling, make sure everything looks good. The last thing you want to happen is for you to do a dumb thing and not pay enough attention to what's going on. And then you've just, if you drop your ski from three feet off the ground, you're gonna break something. The fiberglass is gonna break and it's gonna be a real problem getting it off the ground. So we're good and suspended. I feel pretty good about it. Runaway trailer. He's hanging. He's hanging, boys and girls. All right, what I did was I just moved, I got in the van and moved the van up and then I moved the trailer uh, closer to the engine hoist. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna push the engine hoist that way. I just don't like all the dips on the concrete. If it were smooth, it'd be way easier to do. There we go. There we go. All right, cool, feeling good, feeling good about it. Feeling real good about it. So you get it straddled as, as well as you can. And if you'll notice, you're pretty close. But as that, as the engine hoist moves down, it's gonna push farther that way. So with this Harbor Freight two-ton deal, it's just like a regular jack. You slowly loosen up the jack. Just like that, we've made some things happen. Now I know what you're saying. 
It's a little crooked. Well, if you're if you're a woman doing this, maybe you just can't make it right. But the reality is. I can get in there. I can get it straightened out. I'll deal with that once I get the hoist out of the way. <laughs> so, sling out of the way. rocket science but it's back a little bit farther than I like it to be so I'm literally just gonna let the winch pull it forward go nice and tight I did leave out my strap I'll fix that in a little bit but anyway looks good to me now when I moved it up it definitely centered itself a little bit there we go no problem so now I just gotta strap it down and it's good to go. So, like I said, I'm Gary Dean, detailjuice.com, resetcharters.com. Um, I got a lot of skis. I just wanna share some knowledge, that's all. Um, I'm a hobbyist rider, plus with my reset charters business, I basically we do adventure tours in the Tampa Bay area. So, this is uh, not complicated, but definitely some really nerve wracking work. Uh, so I hope you guys appreciate the video and maybe learn something. Uh